Hi everyone, this information video has been put together to help support parents and pupils to stay up to date with behaviour, attendance and progress. Mrs Francis will start by talking you through ISAM's parent. There are two ways to access our parent portal. Firstly, you can download our parent app called ISAM's Parent, which is the picture on the left. Or you can log on to www.ccsc.staffs dot seh dot uk and click parent portal. If this is your first time logging on then you will need to register via the website first. School will have provided you codes to do this. When you have clicked on the parent portal you will need to click create an account in the top right hand corner. Enter the codes you have been given and create an account. You must use the email you provided when you registered your child in the school. If you are unsure of this, please contact school. You will then need to verify your account via your own email account. Once you are on the portal, you'll be taken to the home page. If you click interactive in the bar at the top of the page, this will take you to the screen where you can provide a reason for your child's absence or request a holiday during term time. In the communication section, you can change your address or contact details. Under the school profile section, you can view your child's timetable, attendance, reward and conduct logs, reports and any external exams they may be sitting. In the My Accounts section, you can change your password and email address. When you download the parent app, you will be taken to the dashboard. If you press help in the top left hand corner, this will give you any support you may need. The main features on the app can be found if you click My Children. You will be able to see all of your children at CCSC on this page. By clicking on each child individually, you will be able to see your child's school profile. On this page, you will be able to see your child's timetable and teaching groups and sets. And there are some really useful sections on this page. Firstly, assessments and reports. These are updated regularly so that you can track your child's progress. On the attendance and registration page, you will be able to see if your child has been registered. And on the reward and conduct log section, this is where we record your child's behaviour. If you need any further support using ISAMS, please contact a member of the office team and they will help you. One of our Year 10 pupils will now talk you through ISAMS student using the app. Here's iSAMS from the student's point of view. So as you can see, when you load in and you've typed your password and username in, it comes up with this screen, which has some details about you and options you can use. So one that I use is school timetable. So this shows you the timetable for the day with what teacher, which room you're in, so you can never get lost really. It's got the entire day in, so you can see everything and where you need to go. You can check days in advance if you needed to, or even a week in advance. Also, all of your assessments and reports that you do from the entire years will be on here. So you can see I've got mine from year seven, year eight, different spring and autumn reports. So you can click on them and you can read through it anytime you want. So it's a digitized version of the paper copies we get every term or so. Also on here shows all of your event logs and conduct logs. So it'll come up with how many event logs you've had since your first day, how many conduct logs, you can see which teacher gave them to you, uh, when, for what, so it will tell you why they gave them to you. Uh, so and you'll see which month it is, you can see like here, exceptional working lessons, which date, so it helps you keep track of how many event logs, how many conduct logs you're getting, if you need to try and get more or less. Also. You can see if you've been registered, uh, your attendance record as well, which you, know, you might be able to sh show your parents with or just for yourself. We hope this video has been useful. If you require any help with ISAMS, please contact the school office.